are you going? Where are you going? To get my gun. Oh. Oh. Hello and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption documentary video. If you don't know who I am, I am Tucker Legend. I produce these short documentaries on video games, and today I'm covering Red Dead Nightmare, which is a DLC pack from the Red Dead game. Anyways, uh, please subscribe. And, uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for the two subscribers on the last video. Anyways, see you guys later. In the beginning, John's family all gets infected. And he hog ties them both. Because he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what to do. He gives them food. And jumps right back to being a gunslinger. And he's going to figure out what is happening. He then sees this doctor that doesn't know what's happening, but that the dead are rising. Then the doctor dies, and John goes to look for some more people. He comes across this girl, and she says to burn them with torch. So that will the After that, John goes around asking survivors what they think happened. Some say the government. Some say foreigners, some say Mexicans, some say drugs, the snake oil man, the guy with the glass eye. So no one can decide on what's happening. So one of them does tell John that it happened back up in New Austin. So that's where John goes next. So first he goes to Seth, the guy with the glass eye. He asks him what happened and if he knows anything. Seth does know what's going on, he's just not afraid of them, I guess, because he's playing cards with an undead guy named Moses. But Seth says that he did not do anything, and was not the cause of the outbreak. As John is on his way to West Dickens, he faces some Sasquatches. <laughs> Shoot me, human. Shoot me. Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. You'll be granting me peace. Why's that? Keep you from eating more babies? In the name of all the traits, are you talking about, human? You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. But we did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. The last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family. It's gone. My kind is gone. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. <laughs> So John gets to Mr. West Dickens, and Mr. West Dickens is selling a cure, but John tells everybody it's a lie, so Mr. West shows it to him and what it does, but it doesn't turn out so great, 
and Mr. West is just a fraud. Then John leaves and goes to the sheriff and helps him out. So first, John cleanses the graveyards. Then he asks this guy where the uh, deputies could be that he's looking for, but this guy then gets eaten. But then John finds the two deputies that he was looking for, kills them. Then he meets this guy who is literally a psycho. He wants to make a movie about this. And then he, uh, John visits Seth, who is now dancing with the undead. And then Seth literally ate the eyeball, which is rumored to cause the outbreak. Then John visits uh, Bonnie. If you don't know, she saved us in the first game of Red Dead Redemption. You know, He then uh, goes to the barn where her dad went and finds him dead. Well, that sure worked. Get some I'll shoot you as many times. So he breaks the news to Bonnie, then goes back to this guy and gives him a zombie. And this guy, as you can see here, is filming the scene. Uh, yeah. It's weird. He then gets eaten alive. Of course he does. Then, uh, John visits, uh, Mr. Dickens, who gives him supplies, and Mr. Dickens gives John some supplies, like some explosives. Then John returns here and sees that there's a missing poster up, jokes about it that this guy's mad and asks him to find her. It's a 15 year old girl. I don't care about saying her name at all. Then uh, he finds her. She's alive. So John saves her, blah blah blah. And then he visits Mr. Dickens once again, but Mr. Dickens. Has a new opinion. He doesn't like normal people anymore. He likes them undead. John then gives Mr. Dickens some things, and Mr. Dickens gives him a blunder thing. I don't know. And Mr. Dickens is gonna go to Mexico. But Mr. Dickens fails and tells John to go instead. But Partner. John needs Say, an outfit. You fellas have a spare uniform? What the hell for? My so family's in trouble, and I need to get over the border. I hear there's an army train so that going that Mr. way. Morrison sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. And he does. But then there's a roadblock, and they're overrun, and they all die. He then gets to Mexico and visits Mr. Ricketts. Uh, do you guys remember him? You know, Mr. Ricketts. Then John stumbles on a nun that needs... His help. She's being attacked by the undead. So John helps her, and the nun tells him that more are being attacked inside. So John helps them too. And the nun wants to do an experiment with one of them. She tests some holy water, and it seems to work a little bit, but not enough. Then John is requested to go burn some coffins to cleanse the place. And I don't even have to explain it. I'm just going to let the game finish itself. But what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions. Come on! Stop that! With his greed and his lust for power, he heard an ancient myth and tested it. It caused all of these terrible things. His vanity overwhelmed us all. What the hell are you talking about? Where have I seen you? A me? Oh, I'm in a face. I'm from here. 
He disturbed the royal burial grounds that lie underneath the town. He heard there was a mask hidden there that would make him invincible. I've heard this blamed on Mexicans, Jewish people, freed slaves, the federal government, immigrants, the bad weather. Now this. What's wrong with people? It's true. Look in that chest. He has a sacred mask. That is where this plague came from. Him and his awful lust for power. Where did you say the crypt was? Near the bullfighting ring, behind the via. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. Ayotioto. A horse is waiting for you. You should return home. trouble starts, I can pretty much guarantee you'll ride off into the sunset. You feeling better? Yes. I mean, once that boy stopped trying to bite me, everything felt much better. I'm starving, though. Jack? Me? Oh, well, I only felt better once that mad look left your eye. Please, Dad, don't leave me here alone with that woman again. Uh, excuse me? I'll try not to, son. <laughs> Uh, I've heard that before. Uh. Well, let me fix us something to eat. Please don't. We've had enough dramatics for one day. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this entire video. It took a long time to find all the information and get all the footage. Anyways, this is the second to last video I'm doing on the Red Dead Redemption universe. My next one is going to be an iceberg video. So we will now understand the Red Dead universe. But the video might take a while, so expect like two weeks from now for it to be released anyways i'm hoping for just one subscriber maybe three so i c so i'll release the video um anyways thank you guys